Hey Pete, how you doing? Howdy, howdy. Is everybody? Nice over there. Oh, that's nice. Go get hit. <laughs> yeah, by the first drunk that comes by. <laughs> uh, first drunk passed half an hour ago. <laughs> So, so P, what kind of propaganda are you gonna spe you gonna spill today? Right. Wow. Easy. Now. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Some respect for the dead. Oh, you're not dead. Easy, Robert. Um, do you mind coming a little closer, Pete? Yeah, as soon as K2 gets over, oh, let's okay. get them all dialed in. Uh, you can get me under the umbrella. umbrella. What's that? You can join me under the umbrella. Ah. I'm, gonna I'm already there. freaking you right. The Voya sponsor. <laughs> Are you going to be able to hold everything? <clears throat> Say what? You're going to be able to hold everything? Oh, I need a mic too, don't I? Yeah. I, can, I guess get rid I of this. I can do the mic if you need me to. So. No, that's alright. I'm not going to make you do that. No. Thank you. Look. I'll take the mic. It's more important. <laughs> Me too. 11 o'clock. Let's say, where's the hustle? Jesus. They're doing it for the morning show, I guess. <laughs> oh, are they? <laughs> salty tonight. It's raining. He's standing in the rain. <laughs> yeah, I waited until. About 8.30, start raining. Uh, obviously, I've been focused on this. <clears throat> have you been, have you heard of anything else going on around town? Shooting, killing? I just got a page about shooting. I don't think it's going to be anything major. No. Often we're going to do it after eight months. Here. Everybody good? Yep. One second. Yep. Before he gets the shot. Yeah, but you got a light and everything? Yeah. Put a light on. There we go. All right. Oh, that's plenty. Oh, one second. All right. That's okay. Yeah, we're good. Good, good, good. All right. Okay, sounds good. 99 from Holgate here. Uh, what are we looking at right now tonight? A little after 8.30, East Precinct officers got a call of a disturbance and a fight uh, at an apartment complex here on 99, just north of Holgate. Uh, as officers were around, they learned there may be one person down injured. Officers got here with medical personnel, uh, were directed up uh, to the apartments uh, where they found one person suffering from uh, traumatic injuries. Medical personnel checked the person out for any vital signs, did not find any, determined the person was deceased. Uh, what we know right now is that person is an adult male, uh, maybe 20s to 30s. We don't have any information on any suspects just yet. Uh, officers or detectives are here interviewing uh, some folks in the area. Uh, really unclear what led up to this uh, person being dead. Uh, at this point, homicide detectives are taking the lead on the investigation. They uh, likely will be out here for several hours processing the scene, um, speaking with witnesses. Uh, one thing, uh, if there are anybody, if there's anybody that left the scene prior to talking to police, they would like to speak to those folks uh, to learn if they have any information about what led to this uh, person's death. Um, again, very, very limited information right now, very early in the investigation. Can you elaborate on the injuries? 
I can't right now. Uh, the technicians will be processing the scene, the medical examiner will conduct a death investigation on hospital tomorrow to determine the cause of death. Uh, but preliminarily, uh, again, looking like homicide based on the investigation. Is there, was there a party of some sort here, or a gathering, or? No, no indication of that. Uh, it appears to be a multi-residential uh, apartment complex. Uh, not, a, not a big one, but um, a few different uh, uh, residences there. Uh, certainly it's a fairly dense neighborhood. There's a lot of neighbors out, but this time of night, it's hard to know if anybody was out. The weather's not exactly you know, warm and good, so uh, not necessarily a lot of people outside. But We'll be checking the area witnesses and neighbors to see if they heard anything or saw anything. Uh, we don't yet know who the victim is uh, as far as identity. Don't know if he lives here or uh, in the neighborhood. Uh, again, looks like a male in his 20s or 30s. Any uh, danger to the public? Difficult to say what the danger is. Um, you know, anytime you have somebody on the run that may be involved in a homicide, there's certainly uh, some inherent danger there. Uh, but as we see with a lot of cases, there's something personal about these kinds of incidents. Uh, so until we know more, it's difficult to say. Uh, certainly if anybody knows who was involved, uh, we'd ask them not to approach him or, or try to talk to him, just call the police and get some information. More or less, sounds like these people knew each other? Don't know, sure. but you know, it's just yeah, generally on. speaking, yeah. uh, more times than not when you have a homicide or uh, a fight that leads to a death, it's people that know each other. Mm -hmm. uh, especially when someone is not here telling us, here's exactly what happened. How long are uh, detectives going to be out here tonight? I would anticipate they'll be out here for a few hours at least, uh, you know, well into the morning. Uh, seeing detectives focusing on at least a photographer up and down the stairs here, was this person found outside the apartment? Yeah, uh, the, the person, there's a landing up there, uh, so the person was found up there outside the apartment. So, uh, you know, again, not know the we don't know the relationship of that person to that yet, if they're, you know, a friend, uh, if they live there, uh, we're still trying to flush it all the people. Got it. And, and on me here, I missed this, uh, dead when officers arrived, or? Yeah, it, it appeared, uh, no signs of life when they arrived. Medical personnel were brought up to confirm and check for signs of life. Uh, they determined that person was deceased. Got it. And saw some chatter about a, a large weapon sticking out of the, the victim. Is that the case? Well, I can't confirm any information that may have been broadcast. Uh, you know, investigators are in the early stages of that investigation. Uh, once they're able to gather their facts and the autopsy tomorrow, we should have some more to do. Got it. So nothing about visible gunshot or wound? Nothing I can say, no. Anything else? Did you find a weapon at the scene? Uh, again, can't speak to anything we found at the scene. Uh, detectives are in the early stages. Uh, they haven't begun gathering evidence or anything like that, taking pictures. Uh, talking to the district attorney, all kind of the standard things they do. Thanks, Pete. All right, appreciate it. Right, get warm. I know, I am shivering.